hundred billion dollars leaks out of the, the, the industry, the business industry, due to stress-related illnesses, absenteeism, turnover, <coughs> and job jumping due to stress-related emotional issues, physical issues, spiritual issues. Stress is our perception, as I mentioned yesterday. Life happens, and I can assure you, as long as you're wearing the earth suit, thanks be to God, life will continue to happen. Life happens outside of you, all day long, all day long. It's objective. It's like watching a movie. As I'm looking out at your faces this morning, this is an objective view. Until I label it. Boom! Comes out of the gate. Life happens, perception. I'm observing it. I'm observing life outside of me. As soon as I label that which I am observing as posing a threat to my safety, to my connection, I become vulnerable to the serpents of fear, doubt, and worry. And it starts with a label. It's simply a label. In fact, as many wise people have continually said, generation after generation after generation, an emotion is simply your body's response to your thought life. Very simple. An emotion is your body's response boom, to what comes out of the gate. So what's really cool about that, you're the gatekeeper. I'm the gatekeeper. Stand guard. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Whatever is good, right, true, beautiful, excellent, praiseworthy, think of these things. So that the percentage, 80% of disease, is stress related, begins to drop. It's amazing to me. And what I find incredible is that whatever God calls you to teach in this world, whatever it might be, and I'm so excited to learn from everyone here, the greatest teachers are continual students. So I show up, dear God, help me to learn something new today. Because I'm in our school, and I don't want to walk away empty-handed when I close my eyes tonight. You are empowered in every single situation. It's simply amnesia because of labels that you place on that which is happening outside of you as a, as a possible threat. Then you have the acronym so commonly used as false evidence appearing real. It's an illusionary perception, illusionary perception that you give power to, power to, to define your worth, your value, oh my gosh, what am I capable of doing? Be open to taking one to three pieces of information. I'm gonna be teaching for about 45 minutes. Be open to, to one to three pieces of information. Dear God, what's for me? What is for me right now to grab and go? That's the name of my company, Grab and Go Stress Solutions. Something quickly that you can grab and go and apply to your life to Bring more levity within the earth suit. So have eyes to see, ears to hear, and a heart to respond. There's a neurolinguistic programming technique that's very, very simple. And I'd like to invite you to join me with this. But simply closing your eyes. Actually, keep your eyes open so you can see what I'm doing. Put your, <laughs> put your, because I'm going to be talking to you through it. So, so basically, I'm going to invite you to close your eyes. And this is a symbolic gesture of opening. When you link your biology to an intention, it drops into your matrix 
of program. So as you have your eyes closed, I'm going to ask you to close them. And then when I say open them, just as you open them, open your fingers like this. So simply closing your eyes and having the intention, I'll say to myself, you can make it your own wording, dear God, give me the grace to see what I'm created to see today, to move me in a positive direction. And then open. And all I want you to do is through this little vision here is tune into everything you see. Increase your ability to see. So you're actually dulling the other senses. You're simply focusing. That which you focus on grows bigger. So acutely look around and see what you see. Colors, shapes. You can even see textures as you are seeing. Okay, now. Could you repeat, the, uh, dear God, give me the grace to see? Dear God, give me the grace to see that which I am created to see to move me forward in a positive direction. And just make it your own. Whatever semantical twist you want to take on that to make it your own. Focus in now on your hearing. These are your, this is your sensory acuity. So focus in on your hearing. Okay, so what I want you to do in order to raise your awareness of what you're hearing, same thing here. This time, you just take your fingers like this and you're opening and pushing out. So it's closed here and then opening and pushing out. So you close your eyes and for a few seconds, simply drop inside the castle and listen. What do you hear? Tune in. And then expand, open up, and push out. Focusing in on your gift of hearing. Okay, breathe in. And release. Okay, your hands. This is actually a Korean technique. This is actually a stress relief technique that you can do. We used to do this before competition. This and rebound. Because it's a Korean technique, you have many different receptors, obviously, when you, who's ever gotten their finger pricked. Amazing, a little spot can hurt so much. I had hundreds of IVs over a two-year period of time, and the one thing I dreaded was the finger prick. Because <laughs> you have so many little nerves there, pain receptors. So basically, what you're doing is activating, this is like reflexology, instant reflexology for, they say to do it for a full minute. This is a quick stress relief technique. But what this does is it takes you out of your head as quickly as you can. You also get an arm workout with this. So as you can, and breathe in. And breathe in. see me in the corner doing this, you know I'm just trying to charge up because I'm having a sugar love. You can do, I want to give you some visuals here. And this is actually from my signature program on stresssolutionsuniversity.com. God told me about a year ago, and it was launched this November, to put something together that people could access in the middle of the night. Because a lot of people stay awake at, at night where the serpents come in in their castle and they sit there staring at the wall. So it's the how-to. How do I maintain confidence when things aren't going my way? How do I stand my ground, like Daniel the Lion's Den, when I feel like I'm misunderstood? The need to be liked, right, and understood are three huge energy leaks punched into your energy system. It's a leak. You can feel it. I need you to understand me. Why? It's awesome. People have different opinions. We can learn from one another. No need to own, control, possess, analyze, interpret, and conclude. This is what keeps us imprisoned inside our earth suit, our castle. So the stresssolutionsuniversity.com is simply the, the how-to. How do I step into and lead my entire personality into my God-given ability 
to move mountains, go for what I want without the stress and anxiety, and the concern for what other people think. One of my daily prayers is, dear God, protect me from compliments and complaints so that I can stay grounded in the mission for which my heart beats. This, this came from a, another thump on the head a while ago when I was bumped by what someone didn't do or respond to me. And instantly, God thumped me on the head and said, hey, you're not here to be liked. As soon as you embrace that, you're not here to be liked. You're here to love and serve. Can I serve more today than yesterday? More of you today than yesterday through me. Less of me, more of you, however you want to word it. This is the how-to so that you can return to your personal excellence and enjoy life to the fullest. That's why we're here. Encourage one another as long as it's called today. Here's a little map of your mind. Okay? Some of you perhaps have seen this. And you can fudge a little bit here. But I like to do about 95%, 5 to 10%. So let's say 95%, 90 95%. This is your subconscious mind. This is your ship. Appropriately, you're on a ship. Okay? Strategies, habits, impulses, programming. This is your ship. <coughs> your ship has been formed, as Shelley referenced, between 0 to 5, 5 to 8. 75% of your perceptions of self make up what they refer to as the matrix of your personality. Yet it's flexible. And simply by recovering, and this is timeline therapy, Recovering a distorted, deleted, or generalized piece of information has the domino effect on your ship. Boom! It pops right out of the chute into your conscious awareness. You got something going on here. Show yourself a little grace. You got two things, a war and a halt. Okay, I referenced this yesterday. This is when you're hungry, angry, lonely, tired. And I like to add sick because I've been there. And I know my personality has been altered many times because of physical pain. Hungry, angry, lonely, tired, sick. Have grace on people. We all kick in and out of Wild Kingdom. 